Plymouth's Mayflower Society House sponsored Christmas 1943, acknowledging the 70th anniversary of this pivotal year during World War II and the sacrifices made by our servicemen and women at home and abroad. Pack TV Community News found out about Plymouth's war efforts that year. Well, we're here on the anniversary of the winter of 1943 here at the Mayflower Society House in Plymouth. And we're commemorating the pivotal year of World War II to remind Plymouth residents and those of the area that this house is used as the headquarters of the American Red Cross. I have a Red Cross um, uniform on. Um, we got two of the uniforms and we had a mannequin to put one on. And the fact that I am a nurse in my real life, um, you know, I um, volunteered to um, put on the uniform. And um, people walk in the door and some say, oh, I, you know, I feel sick, you know, and they really, you know, um, playing up with the nurses thing. So what I, what I did today was talk about what Plymouth was like during World War II. It was an extraordinary time and what I wanted to learn from the people that I interviewed for the story called The Home Front. What I wanted to learn was what was it like for ordinary people during that extraordinary time. And it took a great deal of courage uh, for people living during that time. There was actual, actually U-boats that were uh, patrolling along the whole New England coast and near Plymouth. And uh, there was fear, there was a great deal of fear, and there were many precautions that were taken uh, relative to the potential for bombing and for attack. Army nurse, Red Cross Army nurse. To think about what the war meant to Plymouth, the greater area, to the service that this house provided to probably thousands of people, and to gather some of those stories this weekend, to have people come here to reminisce, to give us some perspective, uh, and to share connections. Uh, it's been a wonderful opportunity to learn more about the house, about the community, and uh, to remind us and Plymouth that you know, we're all part of a bigger story.